hi everyone and welcome so in this video we will going to use this esp32 c3 board as a modbus client okay so we are going to read the modbus tcp device data in this esp32 c3 board so let's see how we can do that so previously we have uploaded two videos regarding this esp32 c3 board so here is the two videos which we have uploaded previously that how to flash the factory firmware in the shao esp32 c3 board and the second video we have uploaded is how to flash the micropython firmware in the shao esp32 c3 board okay now in this video we are going to use this uh, board as a Modbus client which can read the data from my Modbus TCP device okay so this is what we are going to cover in this video so how to create Modbus client using Shao ESP32 C3 board to read the holding register of any Modbus TCP IP device if you want to read the blog then you can click on the blog and you can read this blog okay so I have explained everything in this blog so first of all uh, you have to open your Arduino IDE and you have to install the Modbus library so here is my Arduino IDE I have opened the code and here you can search for Modbus library so modbus hyphen esp8266 okay so you can see it is already installed in my system modbus esp8266 library now uh, here is our code here i have included the necessary library here is my wi-fi ssid and password and the ip address of my system okay here is the ip address of my system so if i open the command prompt here and if i search for ip config then you can see 192.168.1.7 is my IP address. So I have to provide this IP address because the Modbus TCP device will be running in my system. So let me run the Modbus TCP device. So we will search for the Modbus slave. Okay. Uh, I have already uploaded the few videos regarding Modbus slave software, how to download and how to use it. So you can open this Modbus slave software. You can uh, click on the setup. You can go to slave definition and our target is to read the holding register of our modbus tcp ip device so that is why we will select the holding register here and we will set the quantity as 10 we will press ok we will go to connection we will click on connect and our connection type is modbus tcp ip so uh, if we select the modbus tcp ip connection then uh, using wi-fi our shao esp32 c3 board can read those uh, holding register data okay so here is my modbus tcp connection and port number is 502 and we will press ok here you can see the warning is gone and our modbus tcp device is started if you want to simulate the values like let me write 22 and now if i want to read the value in another modbus client okay so our esp32 c3 is acting as a modbus client in this video also we have another modbus client software which can act as a modbus client and we can read the data so here connection connect 192.168.1.7 and the port number is 502 and you can see 22 okay if i write 33 here then you can see it got updated here so our modbus tcp device is up and running now we want to read the same data in this board okay esp32 c3 so let me minimize everything and uh, here you can see number of register we want to read is 10 starting address is 0 and interval of reading is 5000 milliseconds okay so if you want to read the data at every second then you can change it to 1000 if you want to read the data at every 10 second then you can change it to 10000 okay it's up to you this is the baud rate okay uh, you don't you if you want to change then you can change but this is for serial monitor purpose only and uh, yeah here it will read the data you can see mb dot read holding register it will read the data and it will print all the register values in the serial monitor after that if you want to do some stuff with those data then you can uh, write a code and you can do that stuff so now we have to select the com port and okay board so it's our shao esp32 c3 okay and i can upload the code in the board You can see our board is connected to our system. Okay. 
okay done uploading and uh, let me reset it you can see ip address is 192.168.1.5 and after five seconds it will read the data okay you can see 33 and then other values are zero as shown here 33 and other values are zero if i write 55 here but then in the next iteration you will see 55 for last holding register if i write 99 then you will see the value 99 here and if i you know auto increment this value then you will see auto increment uh, values in the last holding register okay now if you want to change the interval so if i want to read each data at 1000 millisecond or you can say one second then i can change the interval i can upload it okay okay you can see 136 137 138 so every one second it will read the data from my Morbus tcp device and it will display it here now if i want to perform any action on this data okay then i can write a code in the void loop and then i can perform those action if i want to transfer this data to mqtt broker then also i can do that okay so that thing we will cover in the future videos but this video is only for how to use this board as a Morbus TCP client to read your holding register data okay and whatever data we are reading you can see the values here if I you know auto increment other register as well then also you you will see the values in the serial monitor okay you can see for every second we have an update in the values and you will see the values in the serial monitor so this is how you can use this a powerful esp 32 c 3 board to use it as a Morbus tcp client you can read the data from your Morbus tcp device uh, which can be connected uh, you know via the internet or via lan cable or via wi-fi okay so that is possible and you can you know use this data to for converting it to MQTT or you can convert in another you know web page or something like that that is also possible so you can create the internal uh, web page you can host it in this board and you can view that in your browser and it will read the data at every second and you will have your you know web based small HTML web SCADA and you can monitor your data in the web browser so uh, possibilities are limitless you can use this code as per your requirement okay so whatever our agenda uh, is for this video that how to create Morbus tcp client using uh, xiao esp32 c3 board and read holding register of our Morbus tcp ip device that has been done you can see it's our Morbus tcp ip device it's our xiao esp32 c3 board and here we have our data okay you can get the code from our blog okay uh, i have shown you that how to install the library you can copy the code from here you can change your wi-fi ssid and your wi-fi password and then you can you know, upload the code you can select your board and then you can have this kind of data okay so this is how you can use your esp32 c3 board as a modbus tcp client okay now in the next video we are going to read the input register data instead of holding register data okay so stay tuned for the next video and till then take care goodbye and thank you